Hey everybody, so if you want to jump in with me, I'm at Exodus 31, and what I wanted to talk about is, um, again, the Holy Spirit and how um, there there's a symbolic reverence to this. So we're in 30, verse um, chapter 31, verse 3, and I have filled him with the Spirit of God in wisdom and in understanding and in knowledge and in all manner of workmanship. So this is where um, two people, Beazalel and Aholiab, sorry about the pronunciation, um, are called to come together to work on building the tabernacle. And they had certain skills and, and craftsmanship and workmanship and that they were going to you know, start building this tabernacle. And the Spirit of God, and when you think of some of the prayers... Um, that we say, like when we sit down and we eat our food, you know, we're praying to God and we're saying Baruch Atah Yehovah or Baruch Atah Adonai. Um, and that is calling forth the the Spirit of God, the Holy Spirit. We're, we're calling that out. Um, and that when we're, when we're, when we're doing the work of the, when we're doing any type of work of creating and building, that you know, we want to be building with the spirit of God. We don't want to just be building with our own might and strength and, you know, uh, priding ourselves on our ego, like we're doing it all by ourselves because we're going our own way. No, when we're building something, we want to be building with the spirit of God, with the Holy Spirit, to be in alignment, abiding in the Holy Spirit, to be guided by Jesus himself, that we are literally, you know, co-heirs, co-partners with Jesus in creating and building things because we're using Jesus's victory, not our own right and might. We're using Jesus's already, you know, coming out from a grave and rising and ascending into heaven. We're using his victory and we're applying that over our own lives. Whatever we're trying to build, we're tapping into Jesus's victory and power. Hope that makes sense. Um, again, that was Exodus 31. Have a good day, everybody.